Here in Sikhi is part of the protocol as well as part of the tradition, which essentially means how did it become part of our lifestyles? Look, it's very simple. You know, you emulate the modalities you believe in, the ones you love. The gurus kept their hairs, they wore turbans. It was partly symbolic of the culture at the time. In as the community grew and as the protocol got developed in Sikhi, the way it became was that the Khalsa was required to keep them, which is individuals who are initiated into the faith rest because they love the Guru and as they were walking on this path, started to keep it themselves. So hair, turban, and several other protocols are part of protocols in the community. They are part of the Khalsa order. They are uh, kept by individuals out of the love for the Guru. And that's where it is.